Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I explain my three reasons behind why you should ball chase. And yes, I said you should ball chase. Although ball chasing is one of the most annoying things your teammate can do, believe it or not, sometimes it's one of the best things they can do. Applying your ball chasing skills at the right times and moments during game can help guide your team to an easy win. The reason most people hate ball chasers is not because it doesn't work, but instead it's because they just don't have a good teammates that know how to ball chase. So today we're going to go over the three main reasons why ball chasing could help you rank up while talking about when to apply the ball chasing skills. Reason number one, it saves boost. One of the many reasons ball chasing works is because of the amount of boost that can be saved. Think about it like this, if you challenge the ball and end up getting a small 50-50 and the ball lands closer to you than to any of your teammates, if you have a chance at beating the opponent to the ball, you should take it and continue chasing. This can be considered bad play by many people, but in reality, you're saving your teammate 50 or 60 boost to get a rush 50-50. And the biggest part of ball chasing is realizing when you are able to get that good 50, and if you aren't, you should be retreating and allowing one of your teammates to challenge the next touch. Reason number two, continued pressure causes forced mistakes. The second reason ball chasing can be so successful is because you are constantly on the ball getting challenge after challenge keeping pressure on their half of the field. If you are ball chasing well, you are able to get a few blocks or 50-50s in a row and this allows your teammates to be ready for any kind of mistake by the defense. This continued pressure at almost any rank will eventually guarantee you a goal. Capitalizing on your opponent's mistakes is much, much more possible when you have teammates at midfield waiting for a loose ball with that 100 boost because you gave them the time and the chance to collect the boost and get in a good position. Reason number three, improves your gameplay over time. The third reason as to why ball chasing will benefit you is maybe the most important. Constantly being on the ball and challenging as many balls as possible will give you as a player much, much better understanding of where and how to challenge. After ball chasing on purpose for a few hours, I could already tell I was getting better at dunking on people and blocking their big clears and winning my challenges to force a pass in front of their net. I started to notice how much faster I was truly becoming and how much every challenge would make me get better and better and faster and faster. Constantly being in their face will eventually make you a better player. All three of these reasons make me feel ball chasing is a viable way to rank up. I'm currently a champ three player, and based on my recent experiences, it definitely works at this rank. I am sure if I was more mechanically skilled with this technique, I would be able to achieve the long-awaited grand champion status. I hope to make a follow-up video going over how to properly ball chase and how to win with a ball chaser so that we understand when ball chasing is more effective and when you should know to rotate back like a normal player. I also suggest trying the strategy with friends at first or a private lobby. This will allow you to attempt the strategy with people who may not go full on toxic if it fails. You aren't going to be a perfect ball chaser after one game. So take the time to figure out the most effective ball chasing strategy. I am sure this will become more accepted as the Rocket League meta evolves. This was Graphic with three reasons why you should ball chase. And thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day.